Apple fanboy tries Samsung for the first, I mean, it's not my first time, I'll be honest, and I'm just trying to get the intro interesting and stuff. <laughs> if you're wondering why I'm wearing glasses, it's because I'm trying to be like my friend Super Saf. Uh, I mean, I'm not really. What's actually happened is I had laser eye surgery two days ago, so my eyes are still very sensitive. It's why I'm wearing sunglasses. I feel like I look ridiculous, but I feel like I also look cool at the same time because they're aviators. Anyway, I have the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra here. I am actually quite a Samsung fan. I've used some Samsung, Samsung phones in the past, but obviously I'm a big iPhone user. My current daily driver is the iPhone 14 Pro. Absolutely love this device. It'll be nice to compare this with the S23 Ultra. Okay, let's get straight into this thing. So I did order it online. I got the exclusive online color as well. So here we have the box for the device itself. Pretty simple box actually. Just a cardboard box. Well, that was not very satisfying, was it? That's also not very satisfying. That one is more satisfying. Like so. Okay, uh, oh, there we go. Oh, wow. That does look stunning. Oh, that color is actually very nice. I wasn't expecting that. It looks very much like space gray, like a space gray iPhone. It looks really nice. Uh, in the box, we really don't get much else. Is that it? Can I get in here? Yeah, it's just the charging cable in here, SIM card key even, or pin even, and a USB-C cable for charging the device. So let's get this screen cover off. So like I said, this is the graphite color and you can only get this if you order the phone online. They also had an offer online, so I thought I'd just go with it and save some money as well uh, because I think it goes for 1399 and I paid 1249 for this device. It has 512 gigabytes of storage and the 12 gigabytes of RAM as well. So yeah, really nice. I really do like the color. I'm actually pleasantly surprised by the color. I think it looks really incredible. Somehow as well, I actually got the phone early. I wasn't supposed to get it early. I just ordered it on the Samsung website and I've gotten it early, which is quite a surprise. I've got it, I think 10 days before the actual release date. So I'm not complaining. It's pretty awesome to, to get the device before it sort of gets into other people's hands um, because I don't have a contact at Samsung or anything. I paid for this device. I bought it myself online and the information that I used to buy it I don't think they can really figure out that I make YouTube videos. So yeah, pleasantly surprised. If you're interested in one, I'll leave a link to it, of course. If you're interested in one, maybe you could get it early as well. This is Samsung's flagship device as well. The S23 Ultra is their sort of high-end, top-of-the-range phone that you can get. So it has a huge 6.8-inch screen. That's AMOLED as well. When compared to my iPhone 14 Pro, you can see the screen size difference is, is pretty ginormous. The iPhone 14 Pro has a 6.1-inch screen, and this has a 6.8-inch screen. Even though it doesn't really sound that much different on paper, 6.1 inch to 6.8 inches, I feel like it feels massive in comparison. I've gotten very used to the size of the iPhone 14 Pro, so I think this is why it feels so big in my hand when using the S23 Ultra. Another key feature with the display on this phone is that it goes up to 1,750 nits of peak brightness, which is outrageous really. That is super, super bright. Anyone using it in bright sunlight outdoors really shouldn't have any issue seeing the screen itself. With it being quite big, it does have a 5,000 mAh battery, which is nice to see. That means people who are heavy users shouldn't have an issue going a full day with the battery on this thing. It should last for ages. What I'm interested most in though is the camera setup on this thing. This camera setup is pretty insane. They've made the camera bunts larger. They've made the sensors larger. If we look at the specs, we have a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera. We have a 200 megapixel wide camera. And then we have a 10 megapixel, uh, 10 times optical zoom camera. And then we also have a 10 megapixel, three times optical zoom camera. Now, I'll be honest, I haven't done a ton of research when it comes to these phones. So I'm a pretty new user when it comes to Samsung phones. So I don't really know what's the difference between these two. I can only assume this one is going to be better because it's a bigger lens, it's a bigger sensor than the one next to it. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see. That's where I will be using this phone the most when it comes to the cameras. Testing out the picture quality, seeing what the pictures come out like, because I'm really into my photography. I really like using my phone as a camera. I really like taking sort of 
professional looking pictures you could say using my presets and stuff and just trying to make phone cameras look like professional high-end mirrorless cameras. Samsung do also offer a new expert RAW option they're calling. It'll be interesting to see what that's like because I love shooting in RAW. I pretty much exclusively shoot in RAW on my iPhone 14 Pro. I don't really use any other option. I shoot in RAW and shooting in RAW makes such a big difference when it comes to picture quality and editing those pictures and getting the look that I want. So it'll be interesting to see what it's like on this device. Actually, this is also a good time to show you the color comparison of my iPhone 14 Pro and the S23 Ultra. Like I said, this is the graphite color and then my iPhone 14 Pro is the space black, the new space black color. And you can see how they sort of differ in the shades of color. Like I said, I really like it. I'm always into sort of black and gray anyway. I'm pretty boring like that, but that's just my style. I like that minimal aesthetic. And I really do like the color of the S23 Ultra. The design of it itself as well is quite nice. Like it's a lot more boxy, a lot more boxy than I remember. And I like how it doesn't have the sort of like waterfall edge. I actually wasn't a fan of the waterfall sort of edge display style that Samsung did for a while. I just thought it was a bit silly really. And you'd have so many sort of touches where you didn't mean to touch the phone. I really like this, a lot more boxy a lot more sort of easier to hold in the hand. I don't feel like it's gonna slip out as easily. The only thing is, I feel like, it, look at it, it looks quite big and I don't have particularly small hands, but this, <laughs> this is quite a big phone in my hand. Um, I can just about reach the top, but obviously Samsung's UI has the ability where, you know, you can swipe down, you can do various different things one-handed without needing big hands, basically. There is also the S Pen hidden in here, just to click away and you get the S Pen which is pretty cool. Like I've never really been a person that uses styluses with devices, but I know this is quite a big selling feature for a lot of people who buy a device like this. And with the screen being so big, yeah, I feel like it's, it's pretty cool. Just some of the options that you get with the S Pen. Smart Select, you can translate S Pen to text, which is pretty neat actually, being able to write and then have it sort of go into digital form. I like how the iPad does that as well. And it's nice to see obviously the S Pen does that too and air actions as well, like take pictures, play music and more. Um, it'll be interesting to see what it's like. I I'll be honest, I don't see myself using the S Pen much at all really. I don't really see it as something that I'm gonna use that often, but it's pretty cool. I think for people who are into styluses, uh, you know, it it's nice to see it still there. So that is the S23 Ultra. I'll be using it over the next couple of weeks. I will have a full review of it. So watch out for that if you guys are interested. It'll be interesting to see what it's like. Like I said, I'm an iPhone user. I'm very much in the Apple ecosystem. I have an Apple Watch, I have a Mac. I, you know, that's all I use. I mainly use Apple products, but that doesn't mean I'm against using devices like this one. I was a big fan of the uh, Z Flip and the Z Fold. I really like those devices. So I'm looking forward to trying this out and using the camera on this, seeing what it's capable of. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and subscribe for more.